Sales activity increased 9% in Perth during November 2021, with Rewa.com reporting sales data showing the average weekly sales figure was 1,048 during the month, which is 24% higher than November last year. Now, Rewa President Damien Collins said the spring selling season had turned up a notch with November, marking the fourth consecutive month of increased sales. So let's get into all the details with this month's Perth Market Update. So Mr Collins said it was another strong month of sales in Perth, with REWA members on the ground reporting high sale turnovers across all price points. Now the Perth residential sales market is in a very good position for further growth as we exit 2021 and we move into 2022. So the five suburbs to record the biggest increase in sales during November were Hamilton Hill, North Perth, Caranup, Greenfields and Shoalwater. CoreLogic's Perth Home Value Index increased 0.2% during November and is up 14% on an annual basis. Rewa.com data shows Perth's median house sale price was $520,000 in November. And Mr Collins said, whilst overall price growth is modest, the suburb level data tells a very different story, with 90 suburbs recording price growth during the month. Now the suburbs to record the biggest house price growth during November were Willoughby up 4%, 625,000. Golden Bay up 3.8% to 395,000. Kingsley up 3% to 655,000. Spearwood up 2.9% to 525,000. And East Vic Park up 2.9% to 700,000 dollars. Other suburbs to perform well were North Perth, Wembley, Downs, uh, Currambine, Williton, and Dudley Park. There were 9,271 properties for sale on Reba.com at the end of November, which is 7% more than October. Mr. Collins said, as is typical for this time of the year, we've seen a steady increase throughout spring in the number of properties for sale. In Perth, as sellers look to capitalise on the strong market conditions. Now, on an annual basis, Rewa.com data shows listings for sale are 6% lower than they were at the end of November 2020. Now, the median time to sell a house during November was 14 days, which is one day faster than it took in October and eight days faster than November last year. Mr. Collins said, properties sold very quickly in November with the median time to sell now just two weeks. That is exceptionally fast and illustrates buyers are needing to act swiftly in this market to put in competitive offers to ensure they don't miss out on a property. Now, Rewa.com data shows the fastest selling suburbs in November were Heathridge, which was five days, Shenton Park, six days, Claremont, six days, Kingsley, also six days, and Leeming, six days. Now, other suburbs to record fast median selling times were Inglewood, North Perth, Hocking, Floriot, and Bull Creek. Now, turning to the rental market, there were 2,358 properties for rent on Reba.com at the end of November. Now, that is 10% more than October, and Mr. Collins said there was a notable jump in the number of available rentals on the market between October and November. Now, we still have a long way to go to achieve a balanced rental market, but this is an encouraging trend and welcome news for Perth tenants searching for a rental. The suburbs to record the biggest increases in rental listings during the month were Clarkson, Hamilton Hill, Success, Halls Head and Bentley. Now Perth's median rent price increased $10 to 440 bucks per week in November. And Mr Collins said, this is the first increase to uh, so Perth's, I should say, median rent price that we have seen since July, which is quite remarkable given how tight stock levels have been over the last couple of months. Even though rents have increased, they are still $10 a week more affordable than they were in 2014, when the median weekly rent price peaked at $450 a week. Now, the suburbs to record the biggest increase in median rent during November were Cloverdale, up $20 to $420 a week, Carlisle, up $20 to $440 a week, Maddington, up $13 to $370 a week, and Armadale up $10 to $320 a week. Actually, for getting there, Gosnells was also up $10 to $350 a week. Now, it took a median of 16 days to lease a rental during November, which was one day faster than October and one day faster than November in 2020. The suburbs to record the fastest leasing times were November, uh, sorry, in November were Kelmscott, 11 days, Wellard, 11 days, Byford and Scarborough, 12 days, and Ennaloo, 13 days. And the other suburbs to experience fast median leasing times were Butler, Canning Vale, Cloverdale, Gosnells and Nolamara. Well guys, that is it from me today. Please remember to like, comment and share this video. And if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great day. And remember guys, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference. That's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.